So we're starting with the box and whisker chart. You need to be able to create one uh, really smoothly. On, on one of the recent tests, there uh, was a box and whisker involving some really involved information. So the quick explanation of box and whisker, everything you need to know, says that we need to find the median of the data. The median splits the groups into two separate groups. So you'll have the median of group one and the median of group two, right? Now, so you have three medians. So between those three medians, you're gonna have your box and your whisker. So by the way, what's the purpose of box and whisker? It's to kind of show you the way the data leans because depending on the numbers, I might have like my box right here and then the whisker right here. So this is kind of telling me that the general data leans toward the left side of it all. And, um, but within, within the center of it, it leans toward the right side of it all. So if you think of different applications in industry and so on, it might be helpful to kind of get that type of take on certain data, uh, but it's really simple. And then one more thing uh, before we get into using this as an example, is, you know, you're going to have your lowest value, your highest value, your first median, your third median, and then your actual median, which I guess we can call the second one, right? So you got, uh, this is called quartile one, quartile two, and quartile three, the three medians. Uh, and we'll, we'll sort of show that in more detail. The reason I'm getting into so much detail on that is that on one SAT, they asked for the distance between Q1 and Q3, a very fancy uh, phrase called the interquartile range. So this is what, if you're one of those students who's really got a shot at a 1400, 1500, 1600 on tomorrow's test, this is what they're doing to really throw a wrench into what you're trying to do. They're kind of dropping in some of these obscure things. And on the test where box and whiskers came up, there were two questions involving the box and whisker. So your score would immediately could potentially drop down if you're just a perfect mathematician who's just not really prepared for this topic. You can go all the way from 800 to like 760 just over the fact that you were surprised by this. So that's what we're here to do is to kind of show you that. So let's go ahead and practice this on the data that we have right now. So we're going to get the median in general. Okay, so another thing is frequency charts just in general, freak everyone out. When we're doing our, our tutoring on a daily basis, these are the questions that everyone's gonna get wrong. So just keep that in mind and you'll, you'll kind of get more used to it as you're seeing this. So if we're finding the median, as I'm counting in from here, I have 20 values. As we're counting in from here, we have 10 plus 16, so 26. So we've counted 26 numbers here. 20 numbers here. The reason why we're counting inward is to find the median, you gotta find the middle number, right? So as I add 20 plus 24, I'll just cross that out. Now we're at 44 numbers, right? And then when we add 26 plus 35, we are at, let's say 26 plus 35, 61, 61. numbers, all right. Okay, so for this particular group, the median has to be one of the numbers within this bar because when we're looking for just where the middle number would lie, because you have 44 on the left and 61 on the right, I know that the, the actual middle number is somewhere right in here. For the purpose of this discussion, let's just go ahead and pretend instead of 0 to 9, 10 to 19, and so on, let's call all of these numbers 6s, all of these numbers 14s, 23s, 34s, 45s, 53s, and 62s. Just made up numbers just so that I can explain to you better how to create a box and whisker chart. And if this saves your life for tomorrow's test, please come on to one of our videos, leave a comment, let us know. We would love to find that out because that's what I get a lot as a tutor. I find out that, you know, oh man, that last minute thing you told me, that was totally on the test, awesome. So I just created numbers because when you're dealing with something like the median, you can't have a range, you need the actual number. So right now the median will be the number 34. So all of the numbers, all of the 35 numbers in this red bar are all 34s. So we'll say the median is 34. Okay, so now how many numbers do we have all together in this set of data with the frequency that's being given? Five plus 15 plus 24 plus 35, 16. I'm adding all the numbers of numbers, all the frequencies. So there's all together in here, there are 105 numbers to choose from. So we have 105. So when we remove that 34 from the middle, that leaves us 104. This was all on a real SAT, all of the same stuff. So we're not overdoing it here. But if I give you the number 34 in the middle, that means that we've got 52 numbers on this side 
and 52 numbers on that side, right? Okay, so 52 numbers on each side. So if I've got a set of data with 52 numbers here, and 52 numbers here for this set of data on the left if i want the median that means i need to count in the 26th number from the left or the 26th number from the right because 52 divided by 2 is 26. so i need to know what's the 26th number in here so if i count in from the left i've got 5 plus 15 is 20 plus 24 is 44. So the 26th number is gonna be from this data set, which we arbitrarily said was a 23, just for the purpose of this example. Same thing on the right-hand side, we've got 26 numbers here. Well, we got 52, which means that if I want the middle number, I need to count the 26th in from here or the 26th in from here. So obviously it's easier to go from the, out, from the outside in. So as I count through here, I've covered 10 numbers, six plus four plus 16 more numbers. So actually literally 26. So the 26th number from the right is 45. And the next number down would be 34. So we picked the doozy with these numbers. So if I have these five yellow numbers, it's easy to say the median is this red one in the middle because it's clearly in the middle. But if I have six yellow numbers, then and that's an even set of numbers, the median needs to be the average of the two middle ones. So I need to add those two and divide by two. So in this situation we had, we're looking for the 26th number in from the right. Um, that number is 45 and the 26th number from the middle this way is a 34. So the median right here is gonna be the number we get by doing 45 plus 34 divided by two. So let's just get that number. And that's gonna be 39.5. And so all we need now for our box and whisker chart is the lowest number, which is six, the highest number, which is 62. And we just show you how to create a box and whisker chart in a really complicated situation. The only thing left to know from things that are related to this on the SAT is the distance from here to here is the interquartile range. So if you're asked for that really obscure phrasing, uh, the interquartile range is the distance from 39.5 to 23, which is 16.5. So the interquartile range is the number 16.5. So now just imagine if you hadn't watched this podcast and you see this on tomorrow's SAT, it doesn't matter how smart you are. It's, it's background information. That's what we're here to help you with.